In case you guys missed it, uh, we are dropping Average Joe's shirts. They are coming out on the 27th at 5 p.m. Central, so keep an eye out for those 30 bucks a piece. Four designs, 100 of each design. I think they'll go fast, so keep an eye out for that. Also keep an eye on IG because we'll have all the information about the designs and uh, little details on them as they come out. But what we're here to talk about today is ice vents from Core Performance. The past couple of range days I've been to, I've got questions about the ice plate carrier along with how do I stay cool in the heat. And this, you know, the summer months here in Texas, especially like even into the fall for us, like it's still in like the hundreds going into October. So how do we stay cool when it's hot like that, especially when we're on range for eight to 10 hours a day. And then even again, when I went up to Seattle, they were having an abnormally hot summer and particularly they had this heat wave while we were there. And it was in like the, uh, the mid nineties, I believe, but it felt great at night cause it got down to like the sixties, which it does not do that here. But you know, when we were there at the range day, I wore my plate carrier all day, no problems. And people were like, you know, it's so hot. Sorry. It's so hot. I'm like, guys, it feels great. It doesn't bother me at all. But they were like, you know, I can't imagine how hot is the plate carrier on it. They're like, how do you do it? And I had a few people ask me, and even at, at uh, Santex, when we went to San Antonio, they asked the same thing, like, hey man, how are you like not dying under that plate carrier? And the truth is, is, is part of that is the, the ice plate, but the other part of that is our ice vents. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about these in depth. You guys have heard me mention them in the ice plate carrier video up here. You can go watch that if you haven't seen it. And these can be applied to basically anything that you have, not just plate carriers. So mainly we see these on plate carriers and, and other applications, and we'll talk about those in a second. But there's some like out of the box applications too. There's guys who wear steady cams. So like uh, videographers, you guys know I'm into cameras and video. That's what I do for a living. Uh, sometimes steady cam operators wear these big chest rigs where the camera attaches to it and you'll see them running around with it in, on uh, movie sets. So we found that using these under there will actually help keep them cool. You can also apply them to backpacks. Uh, so like for me, like putting this on a camera bag makes a lot of sense, especially like when we're hiking up somewhere. Or for you, if you're going like on a ruck march or something like that, this can make a big difference. Uh, make an added comfort, but as well as breathability and letting some air flow in. Now I can say, uh, for example, when I went to Seattle, I, I these are always on my plate carrier, but I had my ice plate with me. However, I didn't have a chance to freeze water in the ice plate because the fridge in the uh, in the hotel was too small and the freezer, it wouldn't freeze it. So the, it, I didn't have that added benefit. So on my back side where there were no ice vents, it was hotter than on the front side where I had these ice vents and it was noticeably different. The front of my body felt much cooler. You could feel the airflow coming through. So it was awesome. So a lot of people think that when um, I show them these, they're gonna be really stiff, kind of like uh, like egg crates. Uh, if you've ever had egg crates or seen egg crates, they, they look really stiff, but they're actually really soft and moldable and bendable. And these are, are a little bit stiffer because they have the, the uh, hook and loop backing, but you have some like these on your uh, shoulder pads. So these have a fiber, uh, like, a, like a mesh backing to it, so that if you wanted added comfort, you just flip these around and it makes them even more comfortable. So if you're wearing it like bare skin, if you're, if you're doing like um, tactical games or CrossFit or like a Murph, and you wanted to run these, but you didn't want this on your skin, you just flip them over and you have this mesh there that makes them more comfortable to wear. Now this can be applied to a few different ones that have this, but these in particular, uh, especially on your, your uh, shoulders, make a big difference. You can also use them uh, on your uh, your holster. So this is usually a hot spot for guys when they're running a drop leg holster or like one of these mid-ride, the mid-ride UBLs. So they made this specifically for that. And again, you have that added um, cloth uh, mesh on the back that makes it a little bit softer. So if you want to run it directly against your skin or you want to just that added little bit of comfort, you just flip it around and you can have that. Uh, but what this does is it, it creates space between your skin and then whatever it is that's compressing and, and getting heat on there, it allows air fluid. So the way that I describe it is that it's like heat fins on a motorcycle engine. Motorcycle engines have these heat fins milled out of them to allow air flow in to cool the head down. This is very similar to that. That's what it reminds me of. So these allow for that airflow, but they're not super stiff or rigid. They're soft, they're comfortable, but they do keep you cool. And as they keep your muscles cool or keep your body parts cool, it reduces fatigue. Uh, and they have all the studies to, to like and data that goes with that. So you can go to coreperformance.com, check out all that. They have a ton of information. They're always putting out stuff on their, their blog and uh, on their YouTube channel, a lot of great information there. So if you're interested in doing like a deep dive, go check them out there. Um, 
So yeah, so that's that's like one of the huge benefits of that is that it's reducing fatigue and particularly uh, shoulders. So Ty, one of our guy, one of our average Joes, he actually runs the shoulder straps, and he says that it's saved his shoulders so much when he's training for uh, SWAT or on patrol or whatever that wearing the the pads on his shoulder straps has made a huge difference. So that's one of the big areas where they've seen added improvement. So one of the, like the big benefits of wearing them on your shoulder straps is that when you're whether you're wearing a plate carrier or you're wearing a backpack or a rucksack, whatever it is, by wearing these there, you're reducing the fatigue on your shoulders. Because that's typically where you get fatigue first because you have all the weight is sitting here. You know, when we're carrying our plate carriers, the weight isn't here, but it is tight, so it's just getting hot. Um, even when we're wearing rucksacks, the weight isn't distributed here, maybe around your waist if you have one of the ones that buckles around, um, but it's, all the weight is usually sitting here. So this is what usually fatigues first. So by getting airflow in there and adding cushion, um, we're reducing that fatigue. Less fatigue means less time to recover, means you're fresher longer, especially if you're doing like two or three day ruck or if you're doing like hiking or whatever. Um, so that's that's a big added benefit. Um, you can also wear them in your plate carrier like I do, so inside your plate carrier or on your uh, thigh strap, but uh, they also have some for like your, your ear pro. So um, our ear pro not only compresses in this way, but it also keeps heat in on the top. So as you're wearing that, that strap, I've seen some padded ones. Um, there's a few companies that make padded head straps, but by adding one of these, it allows airflow in there to keep your head cool. Uh, and recently they've, I believe, have released the insoles for your shoes. So you guys who uh, are wearing boots and are out on uh, rucks and marches and things like that, these will uh, help you out there too. So these are designed to work in a variety of applications and we've hinted at some of them here and there, but there's more outside of what I've mentioned here and it's really up to the end user to be creative with these to figure out different ways you can attach these or apply them to whatever you need. And the different offerings that they have as far as like backings go, allow them to work with a variety of plate carriers, backpacks, rucksacks, belts, whatever it is, you name it, you can apply them a bunch of different ways. So these in particular, the ones that I run on my plate carrier, um, have little slots cut in them where you can actually take hook and loop and attach them to a belt. You can attach them to different plate carriers, to backpacks, whatever. Um, and then the ones like I have on my shoulder straps that have the mesh, uh, those are specific for different applications. The one that comes for your, um, your ear pro that goes in your head, those can be applied in a different way. So with the different backings and the different shapes, you can apply them in a variety of different ways. So it's really limitless on what you can do with them. Now, the other thing too that I will note about these is that um, if you've ever worn your plate carrier for a full day on range in the sweat or in the sun and you're, you've sweated through it and then you throw it in one of your big Pelican cases or whatever, and then you leave it in there and it's hot and then you go to take it out, you gotta let that plate carrier air out for a bit because uh, it's it's gonna stink. Uh, the great thing about these is they are antimicrobial because of the material they're made out of. So they don't hold that odor. They don't they don't hold any of the water or sweat or any of that. So it doesn't stink. So you, that's one of the uh, great benefits is it keeps your gear from smelling bad. So even if you're wearing it on your belt or hip or whatever, it, it keeps it from doing that. One of the newer products they have is the uh, ice vents for chest rigs. So for those of you guys who are running chest rigs, maybe you can't get a hold of plates or can't afford them or whatever, or just don't want to run them. They make these specifically for chest rigs to make those more comfortable to run. And even if you're like running a sling or like one of the, uh, what's the hill people, hill whatever. The thing that, that, that Sam runs in, Sam Pitchfork, the thing that he runs in always like naked in his uh, silkies. So uh, that thing. But you can wear these and it'll make it more comfortable to run in or if you're just out training in it. Um, so check those out. Now I know like a lot of you are like, man, why spend the money? Why go through the effort to, to go through that? Um, I could just, you know, they have padding, they have all this and that. And like I've talked about in previous videos, the difference between this and just having regular padding on like a backpack. Uh, hold on, let me show you. Ugh. Okay. So this is my camera bag, right? And it's supposed to have this, what they call an active zone. And it's supposed to be this air ventilation and it's cushion and all that. And it's supposed to be soft and comfy. But what ends up happening is that when I, when I wear this and the weight of the bag against my back pushes on it, all this like foam or whatever it is just collapses in and there's no airflow through there. It just becomes sealed on my back. So then it's just, insulating all the heat. So this foam goes from supposed to be providing airflow and cooling to becoming insulation. And so in 100 degree weather, when I'm walking around downtown or an abandoned building, this is just insulating heat on my back. And then I end up sweating even more and getting hot even faster. If I were to take something like this and put it on there with the weight, it won't crush in on it. I mean, it's soft, but it allows airflow through and it allows air to get in there and it keeps you cool. And that makes a big, big difference when you're out 
and you're in the in the heat for hours at a time and every little bit of cooling your body makes a big difference. This is the most cost-effective way to keep your body cool and to keep your performance high, either if you're out training or if you're on duty or whatever it is you're doing. Go check out Core Performance Ice Vents. Um, these guys are awesome and they have great customer service. If you have any additional questions about their ice vents or their ice plates or any of the core performance stuff, leave them in the comments down below. They're very active on social. They get in the comments and they answer any questions you guys have. So either they will answer them, I will do my best to answer them, but they are much smarter than me, so I'm going to defer to them. Uh, if you have questions regarding other things, leave them down there. I'll take care of those. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Karate chop that bell so you get notified every time we upload a video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ain't no law when you're drinking the claw. <laughs> Arms just, what is this doing over here? Look at that thing. It's like not even attached. Oh, I wish like magic, I could just like leave it and then the, the hand still be there. Yeah. One day, VFX, we'll make it happen. Future episode. Helicopter. Yeah? Shake your teeth with helicopter. Shake your teeth with helicopters? That actually sounds like a lot of fun. You joking me? Eh, Fred would be proud. <laughs> Fred and Taylor definitely proud. <laughs> Mommy, you're spinning.